Garfield Medical Center, as a primary stroke center, is committed to serving the community. Today, we're fulfilling that commitment by providing sidewalk CPR. Sidewalk CPR is our opportunity to teach our staff and the community about stroke signs and symptoms and prevention. I want to thank our physician and staff for putting this together. Just another way we serve our community. Thank you. CPR is a chest compression that, that puts the blood to the brain. Yes, because the brain, we need the oxygen, okay? So how to do CPR? Between the nipple, you see this? You see the nipple line on the middle, all right? Just one heel, the heel of one hand, and another one on the top, okay? And you push hard, okay, and fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just do this 100 compression to 120 compressions per minute. You know, this way you can save the people's lives because the blood is going to shoot into the brain, okay? Right? So just do harder, okay? In the middle. Good job! Yes, that's right. Hands-only CPR is the best thing they can do to try to keep the survivability rate as high as possible until we get there. Then we can start doing our own thing. We can do a lot more with airway, with the drugs that we can administer, and we kind of go from there and get them to the hospital as, as fast as possible to the correct hospital. Something to add to that would be uh, when you're doing hands-on CPR is to, if, if there is an AED nearby, locate it and have somebody activate the emergency response. So get 911 en route to where you are. Um, that way we can get there faster, we can take over, and uh, we can do our interventions as needed. Uh, today we're having a community outreach uh, for the education of our staff here about the symptoms and management of stroke. We have a full team of uh, physicians here and nurses and coordinators that uh, is part of our uh, primary stroke center that provides comprehensive uh, stroke care. Uh, today we want to remind the audience if you have symptoms such as uh, facial droop or uh, one-sided weakness to uh, quickly seek uh, uh, medical care. A lot of our patients here are walk-ins or brought in by family uh, instead of uh, being uh, transported by ambulance. I want to remind everybody if you have symptoms of stroke uh, to call 911 and, and have an ambulance bring you to the hospital. In stroke care, it's very important to not to delay your care. Uh, all of us here are at, at Garfield Medical Center are very proud uh, to uh, provide a standard of care and the, the latest technology in stroke care. For stroke, be fast. What we call be fast, so B is balance issues, um, trouble with walking, falling over. E is for eye uh, issues, so problems with vision. Uh, F is for face, so facial drooping, facial asymmetry. Uh, you may have changes where the eye droops down. A is for arm or leg weakness, so weakness on usually one side of the body in the arm or leg. Uh, S is for speech difficulty, so slurred speech, problems understanding speech, getting speech out. All of those are all related and can be signs and symptoms of stroke. And lastly, T is for time because, the, again, the faster we give you clot-busting medication, TPA, or the faster that we take out the clot, the better. Uh, you're gonna have, those patients are going to have better recovery and a um, uh, better chance of survival and recovering from the stroke. If you present within three to four and a half hours of a stroke, you could be a candidate for a medication called TPA. That's a clot-busting medication. That's why we do the CT scan right away. And so then the decision would be if the CT is negative and there's no bleeding in the brain and they're having signs and symptoms of a stroke, this is why it's so important to go to the hospital immediately. If you're waiting 24, 48 hours, you're just laying in bed thinking the symptoms are gonna get better, now you're not a candidate for anything. It's too late, the brain tissue has already died. Every minute, two million brain cells die. We use these long sheath catheters and mechanical thrombectin devices to go all the way up into your brain and capture a clot and bring it out through your uh, femoral artery. Uh, when someone does have a stroke and they call 911, we get there, help them out as soon as we can and get them transported to the hospital where it can be completed on the hospital's end as soon as possible to help save that person's life and make a difference. Um, very interesting here, we have vendors here that they're showing the technology 
of how far we've come uh, with stroke, uh, stroke patients and how to help those patients. And um, the, one of the doctors here was showing us uh, in person some of the clots he's removed out of, the, uh, out of, out of patients and uh, the tools that are used to help those patients. 大家好，我们是Montreal Park消防队。如果你跟你的家人，如果你们有哪里不舒服，或者需要帮忙，你可以打九一一，我们会来帮你，带你去医院。For stroke, be fast.